And it's become a busy stretch in holiday shopping for what are known as secondhand stores in parts of Rochester. And with the boost in sales comes a new life for business in certain communities. Alex Love spoke to store owners and customers, and he joins us now in studio to explain more. Alex. Well, Isabel, these secondhand or vintage stores, as they're commonly called, sell used products and antiques. But those we spoke to feel these can mean a lot more at Christmas for, as, for, as presents when it shows you went out of your way to find them. Shopping at these local businesses can also be prosperous for the communities they're in. It's the first Christmas Shay Rapp, owner of Staple Vintage, to have a storefront off Monroe Avenue. She feels every sale is money back into funding Rochester and her dream of owning a business. I've definitely noticed that there are more local businesses popping up on Monroe Avenue and that has been really helpful to support the ones that were already here. It keeps the foot traffic at a higher level, brings uh, people out from the suburbs to the city. Down the street, Monica Ludwinik moved her business, Little Shop of Hoarders, to Monroe after four years off Gregory Street. It's been rewarding for her to see in-person holiday shopping sales exceeding expectations this year. It brings people out, everyone's walking around, it looks more alive. And also, I mean, people are uh, decorating their windows and everything, so there's displays, people are just in general more cheerful. Those we ran into out doing their holiday shopping preferred searching through these unique items for gifts. It makes spending money you feel a bit easier, you know, like um, you don't feel like you're wasting money by any, by any means and you know, you know that's probably going back into the city or back into, you know, the owner or family of the owner. Um, so yeah, I would say I feel pretty good about spending money locally. Even if it's vintage stuff, store owners say going out of your way to find unique presents that aren't in every chain business go further to show how much you care. When people open that gift, they, they see that you've actually tried and you're, you searched for a gift that you really thought loved one would appreciate. A lot of creatives and a lot of artists are the people that own small businesses and that is what makes it an interesting place. Surveys and studies done by Red Egg Marketing found over 82% of shoppers would rather support a local business than a large corporation, even if it costs more money at the local shops.